Listen, Chris, if you expect me to come up with anything, you have to find me some private time with my piano and my writing partner. Your writing partner is now my dancing partner? And if she's gonna get the saloon number under her belt tonight, then we're all finished. And I need to see that very number in full dress regalia this instant. Jenny, have the cast changed for the Act 1 finale from the final bars in the bar at the Barbie Bar Saloon. Say again? I can't say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Belling's rehearsal takes priority, so if any of you need to change costume, go right ahead. The rest of you, Detective O'Farrell is waiting downstairs to fingerprint the entire company. Unless, of course, one of you would be kind enough to explain why you committed murder. In that case, let's clear the stage and give our composer the solitude that he needs. That should buy you a few minutes alone with your piano, Mr. Fox. Alone? Yeah. Must be quite a challenge, trying to create when your writing partner is... Otherwise engaged? May I ask you something? And only because I've wondered about this my entire life, which usually comes first, the music or the lyric? Same answer as the chicken or the egg. So it's the lyric. <laughs> no, a great melody doesn't always need a lyric. Or a lyricist. How do you start? Well, it can start with a note. Which can become a phrase. And you try hanging words off each branch, like well, trimming a tree. Sounds easy enough. Really? <clears throat> well, don't talk about love. Or you'll have to say, it's like a glove, or as certain as push comes to shove, you will pine for the woman you're constantly thinking of. So you see the problem. Dangling part of simple. <laughs> <laughs> so you suggest staying away from love. At all costs. And don't mention your life. Or you'll have to say, cuts like a knife. Or refer to the heartbreak and strive. And you find that you're missing your... Missing? <coughs> what? You were saying what you miss. Oh, no, I was just explaining. I miss the music. I miss the song. Thank you. 
sorry. Did I interrupt something? No. I'm afraid I'm the guilty party here. Uh, but thank you, Mr. Fox, for all the insights. Miss Hendricks, good luck with your upcoming number. We'll speak later. I forgot my lyric. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, you're not the lyricist now. You're the star. How does it feel being back on the boards? Terrifying. <laughs> Thrilling. I've missed it. The stage. Come on, Angel. We gotta rehearse that away. Right away. Must we? Yes, it's our last chance to rehearse before we pack it in for the night. Come on, honey. You know, Aaron, I'm beginning to think you were right when you said I was wrong for this. Georgia. Break a leg. Thanks. You can, um, finish the song without me? I'm a one-man band. 